Hello, my friends. The abundance of fruits and vegetables you see is the result of tireless labor by farmers throughout the season. How hard did they work to turn fields into these colorful strips of produce? The answer lies in today's video. Let's follow the journey of American farmers harvesting millions of tons of agricultural products in 2024. First, let's visit the zucchini fields. In peak warm conditions, zucchini begins to sprout and grow leaves within seven to 14 days. About six weeks after bees pollinate the bright yellow flowers, lush zucchini fruits start to appear. To achieve such growth, farmers often mix manure or compost into the soil before planting. This supports the early stages of plant growth. Most varieties take around 60 days to mature and are ready for harvest about a week after flowering. Zucchini should be harvested in summer when they are tender, slightly immature, and six to eight inches long. Farmers usually cut the fruit from the plant with a sharp knife, leaving about an inch of the fruit stem to preserve it without damaging the plant's soft stem. During peak harvest times, farmers prioritize removing large zucchini fruits to reduce the plant's need for moisture and nutrients. They also aim to complete the harvest before the first fall frost, as zucchini is vulnerable to both frost and heat. Unpicked zucchini can grow significantly within 24 hours, so daily checking under large leaves is essential to avoid overly large, tough, and unpalatable fruit. Regular picking every day or every other day in warm weather stimulates new blooms, ensuring a continuous harvest throughout the growing season. Zucchini is a popular summer squash grown throughout Indiana and the United States. On average, there are about 7,000, 500 to 11,000 plants per hectare. Farmers only harvest fruits weighing approximately 0.25 to 0.5 pounds. Zucchini pickers use carts and wear soft gloves to avoid bruises, scratches, and nail punctures while cutting zucchini from the plant. Oversized fruits are removed to maintain the plant's vitality. Freshly picked zucchini is poured into water to rinse off dirt and lower their temperature before being packed into boxes and transported to local markets. These crates are then taken to a factory for further cleaning and packaging to ensure market supply. Moving on, let's head to California, where nearly 92% of the broccoli grown in the U.S. is produced. California also contributes 15 to 20 percent of fresh broccoli production on the market. One sign that broccoli is ready to harvest is when it is dark green with small tight buds. Farmers harvest broccoli immediately if it begins to flower or turn yellow. However, broccoli does not bloom all at once, so farmers harvest heads of broccoli to avoid bitterness. Side shoots are also harvested when they reach the ideal color and firmness. Heat waves lasting more than a week cause the plant to flower quickly, requiring careful observation and immediate harvesting during such periods. Experienced farmers prefer to harvest broccoli in the morning before the soil warms up to ensure the best flavor. Using scissors or sharp knives, workers carefully cut the broccoli heads to avoid damaging the tree trunk. They typically harvest about 11,000 heads of broccoli in an eight-hour day. The stem is cut to a suitable length, usually one to two inches, although longer stems yield higher profits. Some farmers use specialized teams and mechanized harvesting equipment to improve efficiency and profitability.
field-packed broccoli must be delivered to a cooling facility promptly to prevent quality decline. Next, let's explore the bell pepper harvest. Bell peppers come in various colors, shapes, and sizes, making them a profitable crop for commercial or home farms. The total U.S. bell pepper harvest covers approximately 4,900 to 6,280 acres, with California and Florida leading production. Florida bell peppers are grown from October to July, ensuring year-round availability. Popular commercial varieties include Aladdin, Aristotle, and Brigadier. Bell peppers mature within 11 weeks of planting, with increasing health benefits as they ripen, containing more vitamin C. Farmers use scissors or sharp knives to cut bell peppers from the plant without causing damage. This harvest in Gilroy, California, involves farmers walking along mechanized lines to pick peppers by hand. Once harvested, bell peppers continue to ripen, so they must be cooled and stored properly to avoid over-ripening before reaching the market. Bell peppers are transported to processing plants for cleaning and packaging. Their shelf life is approximately two to three weeks when stored at 40 to 45 DFF. Proper storage and handling are crucial to prevent damage during transport. Carrots are another crop grown and transported year-round in California, with four main production regions. California produces over 85% of all carrots in the U.S. Michigan and Texas are other significant carrot-producing states. Carrots are typically ready to harvest about 90 days after sowing. Farmers gently pull the roots from the ground and cut off the tops. Carrots can be stored with the remaining soil or washed and allowed to dry briefly before storing. Hand harvesting is usually done on cool days to avoid overheating the roots in the sun. To avoid soil compaction, farmers limit equipment movement in carrot fields during the first three to four weeks. Machine harvesting involves loosening the soil, gently pulling the carrots out and cutting off the tops. The tops are discarded while the carrots are transported on a conveyor belt into trucks. This mechanized process reduces labor and time, ensuring proper harvest and improved quality. Peas, the second most valuable canned food after tomatoes in the U.S., thrive in spring and fall. Farmers in Montana plant peas when the average air temperature is 75 DEF or cooler. Peas are harvested 12 to 15 weeks after planting, once their pods are plump and filled with sweet beans. Harvesting is done in the morning, after the dew has dried, ensuring the peas are crisp. Machines facilitate quick and efficient harvesting. Farmers choose semi-leafless or short vining varieties depending on the region's climate. Harvesting peas too late can lead to seed breakage and poor quality. 
Therefore, farmers harvest in moist conditions to minimize seed breakage. Eastern Washington farms continuously harvest peas, ensuring fresh produce reaches consumers within hours of picking. Lastly, let's visit the lettuce fields. Lettuce is one of the top six commodities in the U.S., with California and Arizona dominating production. California accounts for 71% of U.S. lettuce production, followed by Arizona with 29%. Farmers grow and harvest lettuce year-round, supplying packaged salad companies, supermarket chains, and food service companies. A one-hectare field can yield 25 to 40 tons of lettuce. The ideal time to harvest lettuce is early in the morning, before sunrise, to avoid exposure to harsh sunlight. Manual labor is still crucial in lettuce harvesting. Farmers use their hands to pick the top part of the lettuce, chop off the stem, and remove outer leaves before placing it on a conveyor belt. The Yuma Valley in Arizona produces 90% of America's winter greens, harvesting about half a billion heads of lettuce annually. The harvest season lasts for 55 days, with farmers working in teams to cut, bag, label, and transport lettuce efficiently. In conclusion, the hard work and dedication of American farmers ensure a bountiful supply of fruits and vegetables. From zucchini to broccoli, bell peppers, carrots, peas, and lettuce, each crop requires careful planning, timely harvesting, and proper handling to maintain quality and meet market demands. Their efforts are a testament to the resilience and innovation of the agricultural industry in 2024.